Hey, this is Jack at Yeti Station, and today we're going to be showing you how to play some pinball. Now this is going to be aimed more at the newer player who wants to take their game up a notch or two. And we're not going to do anything too game specific today. This is more just a general overview, rules that apply to just about any game you're going to encounter out there. First up, before we even start a game, let's take a second to look at the rule card on the bottom left. Now, most games mid-80s or newer are going to have a rule card on them, and that's going to give you a general idea of the rules of the game, what different shots do, and maybe some different game-specific features. So now let's take a look at the flipper area. You've got the out lanes on the outside, which lead to the drain, and then you've got the in lanes on the inside, which lead right back to the flippers. So once you start the game, you've got two options. You can full plunge the ball and get the action going immediately, or you can aim for the skill shot. Now, every game is gonna have a different skill shot to it, and every game is gonna have a different award for the skill shot that you can collect. So now let's talk about the names of all the different shots that you can hit. You might have played a game and you heard it say something like, shoot the scoop or shoot the orbit, but where is that exactly? The left and right orbits are usually on the outside of the game, and they orbit the ball up and around back out the other side. Scoops are the little holes on the playfield that the ball can be shot into, and then spinners are the pieces that spin when the ball hits them. So once the ball is in action, a good general rule of thumb to have is that if something is lit, shoot it. Any lit shot that you hit is going to score points, advance you towards an objective, or any number of other things. A good general objective for pinball is to aim for multi-ball. Now, multi-ball is achieved by making the required number of lock shots. There will often be one shot to light the lock and make it active, and another shot that acts as the lock itself. So once multi-ball is started, the jackpots will be lit. Now, the jackpots can be any number of different shots depending on the game you're playing, but the most common one is one of the ramp shots to be the jackpot. Sometimes there'll be a shot to light the jackpot and make it active, and then a different shot to collect the jackpot. And sometimes when you miss a shot, the ball's gonna go out of control, but there's a little trick you can kind of keep up your sleeve, and that's called nudging. Nudging can help you bounce the ball off of certain playfield parts, or bounce it to a certain part of the game and keep it in play and keep it from draining. Nudging can be a game saver, or it can also be a game killer. Nudging a game too hard will give you a tilt warning. Do it a second time, you'll get a second tilt warning. And do it a third time, and you will tilt the game, and you'll be forced to drop the ball that you're currently playing. Every game will have a different tilt setting, so you have to get used to the game you're playing and kind of feel where the setting is and how hard you can nudge the game without getting a tilt warning. Be careful how hard you nudge a game, because some operators won't like you shoving the game all over the place. Now I know this can seem like a lot of information to take in, and I won't lie to you, it is a lot of information to take in. But just like every game is different, every player is different. There's no right or wrong way to play pinball. The most important thing is to just have fun and learn at your own pace. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learned something about pinball that you didn't know before. I'm Jack at Yeti Station, and I've got no idea how to end this video.